Well, thanks again for joining me today, Kyle Gagne, Western Regional Manager for Technicontact Canada. We're going to continue our series today regarding the Wolf Vision Synap. In particular, we're going to be updating the firmware on this Wolf Vision Synap model. And as you can see behind me, I got a camera set up. We're going to try and do this in real time to show you how easy and quick the firmware update process is for Wolf Vision. Now, a few items of note. The Wolf Vision has a few options or pathways for how we can update the firmware. The most simplest one, we can actually go directly on the Synap unit as long as it's got an internet connection and download the firmware files from there directly on the unit and do the firmware update. My preferred method, which is probably going to be a lot more typical for deployments, is to use the vSolution Link Pro software. So let's log in there and let's get this firmware updated. As you can see, we're going to log into vSolution Link Pro. So, as you can see, we got a quick status update, and we are pretty obvious which one we're going to update here. We've got one firmware version behind for the Matrix Master. So, we're going to go over here to the main menu for the Matrix, and here's all our options. So, what I'm actually going to do, good practice, I'm going to back up the settings here. So, Look at that, we backed up everything, all the settings and everything on the Synap right there. So now we're going to go down to Firmware Update. And as you can see, we've already selected the correct firmware, 1.42. And we're going to Live Feed here, and we're going to run the update. And look at that, it's already uploading to the unit. We can see it's already received the file and is actually uploading and going smoothly. So, few items to note with the firmware updates from Wolf Vision. Firmware updates free for the life of the product. So this is not something that you have to have a software uh, agreement or an extended warranty. These are all included. Not to mention, the firmware updates apply to all the feature packs as well as the base unit uh, software. So with Wolf Vision Synapse is actually running off of a Linux platform. All the firmware updates are quick and they update the feature packs as well. Now, as most of you are probably familiar with, Miracast, Chromecast, and AirPlay are actually all supported by the Wolf Vision Synapse. But Wolf Vision Synapse does have a leg up in regards to some of the other competitors in the wireless BYOD space. In particular, they have a partnership with Apple. This partnership means that they receive iOS updates three months ahead of the release by Apple so they can release their firmware updates accordingly. What does this mean? Well, this means that they are actually not playing catch up like a lot of other competitors in this space when there is an iOS update. I don't know how many clients I've dealt with where they have released an iOS update for the iPad or iPhone and that breaks the apps. The, the native apps for the wireless BYD is broken, the new version of AirPlay is released, and it's not compatible, and everybody is playing catch-up. And, oh, looks like we've actually got it already rebooting, so look at that. We're already a minute or two in, and as I was mentioning, I'm doing this firmware update. It's free, and just through the vSolution Link Pro, so we'll kind of wait and hang tough on that. One other item of note. With vSolution Link Pro, you'll notice I did not actually go to a server and download the files required, the firmware files required for this update. That was all done automatically through my laptop, through vSolution Link Pro, and I didn't have to go searching on servers, I didn't have to go to the web page, look for the update, it's all done automatically. So, looks like we're going pretty good here. We're actually, we can see vSolution Link Pro is doing a showing us that the unit is restarting. And we're only at about two and a half minutes here, people, and we're already rebooting with the fact that this unit is actually based off the Linux platform. There's no bloatware, there's no Windows updates. This is all being done in real time here, so. And look like looks like we're back online. And that's it. Look at that. I think we just crossed the three-minute mark for a firmware update for this unit. 
And as you can see, we can see that the vSolution link is still connected. We're going to take a peek here. It's probably going to reconnect. And right there, we're back online, version 1.42. As you can see, we're already up and operational. Thanks again for joining me today. I appreciate your time. You know, I understand that, you know, sometimes firmware updates are not the greatest, but you know what? As you can see, it was pretty quick with the Volvision Synapse. And as I mentioned before, if you would like to schedule a demo, live uh, demo, please contact your technique contact regional rep. Thanks and have a good one.